I used to work in a company where the president was just as old as I was. But because he was a CEO, I had to give him the respect that was due the head of the company. But outside of the company, he was actually a longtime friend. And so while I treated him as he deserved being a president of the company, the work I did exceeded what was expected of me because I was doing it for a friend. I knew that our professional relationship limited how we were to, to relate to each other. But our friendship allowed us to go beyond the formal relations because of the trust that was developed between us over a long period of time. And so for the president of that company, I was more than a subordinate. We are, in a sense, in a similar situation if we are followers of Jesus. Jesus is king. He is Lord over all. He is the Messiah, the anointed one of God, our Savior and Redeemer. And, and we who put our faith in Him are His believers. We who seek to learn at His feet are His disciples. We who seek to obey His commands are His followers. But for Jesus, we are much, much more than that. This is what Jesus himself said to his disciples as recorded by the Apostle John in the Gospels. No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends, for all that I have heard from my Father, I have made known to you. What a privilege to be called friends of the Son of God. We who used to be slaves to sin, who were ransomed by the blood of Jesus, are among the redeemed. Our rightful place is that of a servant to the King. But we were freed by the grace of God in Christ. Pero mo, dati tayong alipin, ngunit pinalaya tayo sa biyaya ng Diyos. At yun pa lamang, lubos ng biyaya sa atin yan. But Jesus was not content in just keeping us under a master-servant relationship as He brought us closer into relationship with Him and as He revealed to us God's will for the world, as He let us in on the secrets of heaven, He is telling us that we are more than just servants. We are His friends. So a very good question we need to ask ourselves is this. Would Jesus be happy to call me his friend? I pray and hope that is so. As we learn to appreciate the privilege of being called a friend of Jesus, may we always remember, faith matters too.